Isaiah 58 is very important. It's a group of people fasting and God not hearing their prayers. Wait a minute, you just said if we fast, God will hear your prayers. Hold on. He said, Isaiah, cry aloud and spare not. He's telling Isaiah this, cry aloud and spare not. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Tell my people their transgressions in the house of Jacob their sins. There's a proof text for powerful preaching right there. That, that verse is to me. Get off your couch Get out of your comfort zone. Stop trying to please your audience. You're not trying to win a popularity contest, Shane. He said right here, cry aloud. Oh, there's loud preaching too. See, I've got a cover too. The cry aloud, cry, spare not. Lift up your voices like a trumpet. Tell my people their sins in the house of Jacob. Tell them their sins because they're fasting, they're seeking me, and I'm not answering because they forgot the other passage that says, my hand is not short that I cannot save, my ears not heavy that I cannot hear, but your sins, your transgressions have covered my face from you. I cannot hear you. So he's telling Isaiah, shout loudly. And the basic key is this, fasting is humility. The releasing of appetite must correspond with the releasing of sin. So these people were fasting, fasting. God, why aren't you hearing us? We haven't eaten all week. Why aren't you hearing us? Because you're oppressing the poor. You're negative and critical. You're keeping people in bondage. You're spiteful. You're hateful. You're taking pleasure in everything else. I haven't chosen this fast. Let me tell you the fast that I have chosen, that you would release the bonds of wickedness, that you would let go the shackles of oppression, that you would let the people go give your food to the hungry, bring things to those in need, and then, then I will hear from on high, and I will open the windows in heaven and pull you out a blessing you don't have room enough to receive. I tied in Micah with, Micah with Isaiah there, but that's okay. That was the point. He's getting the people get their hearts right. And then he said, then you shall call and the Lord will answer. Have you ever had hindered prayers? Oh, nobody's had their prayers hindered. Wow, just me. I shouldn't be. You, you guys come pastor. <laughs> Let me sit down there, right? Everybody's, oh, I like this down here. Now you'll listen. Now everybody's not bored. Right, but... Have you had to enter prayers? So he's saying right here, Isaiah, read it tonight. You shall call and then the Lord will answer. See, they were fasting, but the heart isn't right. The heart has to be right, and then you fast and you pray. That's the, that's the threefold thread that's not easily broken.